Hi, this is Ann for Graphic Design How To, and today we're going to talk about how to get started as a stock vector contributor. This also applies to stock photos. It's just that I want to talk specifically about stock vectors, but it really applies to both. So first thing you need to do is open an account with a stock vector site, and I like Adobe Stock. You need an Adobe ID, but that's free. You don't have to have a subscription to Creative Cloud to get an Adobe ID or to sign up as a contributor to Adobe Stock. So anyway, just sign up, get that going, and then you'll be ready to upload your first files. Step two, look through all of your old files from school, maybe some freelance jobs where you still own the rights to the vector artwork that you did. Um, look at old websites where you might have used some icons that you created. Even logos that you made a long time ago, you can just take the text off and it might work as a vector graphic. And I think a good number to start with is 10. So go ahead and go through all your old stuff, get all of your vectors together. Step three is to clean up those vectors. Put them in a file by themselves. Uh, for Adobe Stock, you have to have 3,000 by 5,000 is the file size you have to have. Create an artboard in Illustrator that's that big and then put your artwork on it. You want to make sure that there are no stray points or open paths. And make sure the color is very nice bright and interesting to look at. Now once you have everything cleaned up and perfect as far as your vectors go, we'll move on to number four and that is to start a Word document or something similar. Start brainstorming keywords. Keywords are so important. That's how people are able to find your file. So you want to have them relevant to whatever the vector is. Just write down everything that's related to your file. Step five, create a title that's relevant to your image and has several of the keywords that you just came up with in the title. Now you'll need to save your file as an EPS or an AI file for Adobe Stock. Once you have everything ready, you can go to Adobe Stock and submit those 10 images and then you just sit back and wait and hope the money pours in. Hopefully this video will inspire you to start your own stock portfolio. It's really great to have a little side income coming in. I might do another video in the future about how to be a little more strategic when you're creating files to be sold as vector stock. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave those in the comments section below. If you want to learn more about graphic design or learn about Illustrator, please subscribe. I put out a video every week on Thursday. Thanks guys!